You think buddies know that Thanksgiving's coming? What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's Matt Watson comedy! Hey guys, this is Matt Watson coming to you, and that opening clip is from my buddy's farm called Fiat Farms. Uh, my buddy Nick Backett, uh, Nick Baker, has uh, him and his lovely family have employed me for my time here in uh, Canada. Um, and uh, they run a wicked awesome farm that sells like all natural products and um, like those turkeys in that shot, like they're so free range that every day when I go to feed them, I'm surprised they're still on the property. Like these guys, they can go, they can go anywhere. Um, they're allowed to get any, go anywhere they want. So it's uh, thank for employing me, Nick. And if anybody likes uh, natural products, you know, check out their, uh, their page on the old Facebook. Um, I've been working with that guy every day. He's got, what is he, he's got pigs out there. Yeah, I can show you a clip of some pigs. He's got cows, he's got chickens, he's got turkeys. I'm so dirty when I come back from working at Fiat Farms that I wash my hands before I use the bathroom. Like, that's how filthy I am leaving that place. But, great company to work for. Here's something I want to talk about this week, guys. I don't know how to act when, uh, when people tell me that, uh, they're pregnant. Now, even the viewers watching this right now, they're thinking like, well, Matt, it depends on who told you, you know, are you involved? Um, and that's exactly it. I haven't been involved, but this, the situations I'm talking about, um, I'm just so used to not wanting that question being, or that statement being said to me that um, I have now been, I'm, I don't know how to react when someone tells me. Like, I just don't know what the right thing is to say. I think people should be like, um, hey, I want to tell you something just so you know, we're happy that we're pregnant. You know, I don't, I, I just, just tell me how to act. Tell me how you want me to react with before you, you drop the P-bomb. That's all I'm saying. I think it would make life easier for everybody because if you just say we're pregnant, um, all I think in my head is, okay, I don't want to be pregnant. So is this a good thing for you? I don't know. I don't know how you feel about the subject. You need to tell me how you feel so I can act accordingly. It's not that I don't like kids. In fact, I actually love kids. It's just, uh, you, need, you need to be, there's a lot of support and a lot of nourishing that needs to go into parenting that I don't think I can provide right now. You know who's a, a dope uh, parent is uh, both of mine. Um, if my dad, if I could just use my dad as an example, he is crazy supportive. This is how insanely supportive my dad is. Um, the other day he told me he was watching my sister, who's 12 years old, her grade eight basketball game. And he said it was so intense. It was like watching the NBA. What Jim Watson, the NBA, watching my 12 year old sister is watching LeBron James dunk Cly Leonard making the three to send the Raptors to the finals. Like, are you the NBA really watching the 12 year old girls warm up to Josh Groban's you raise me up cause I can't dunk on my own. Like there's no, those two aren't comparable, but that's how supportive I believe you need to be to be a parent. Um, this is something that happened to me a couple weeks ago. Um, I was walking down the street and there was this kid um, in a stroller and the dad was pushing it. I could hear the, the kid singing. He was going, da, 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 which uh, I believe is an original. Um, and you know what? It's not a bad hook. You know, obviously he needs some verses, but you know, let's let's be real here. I'm, I mean, so many songs have da's or na's, you know, as their as their uh, chorus. You know, like even the Beatles. Hey Jude, the entire chorus that repeats more times than any song that I've ever repeated a chorus of in church. Um, has na na na's four days. I think it's na x fourteen hundred and twelve. I believe that might be accurate. I wouldn't, it would take too long to count it, but that's my stab in the dark. Uh, so as I'm passing this kid, um, I hear him, I can hear it like increase. Like I can hear him going da, 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 da. Like he was doing the da's at me. You know, he wanted me to acknowledge, hey, uh, just so you know, you know, a little, little tiny Mozart over here. You got some, you got some da's coming at you, Canadian boy. Da, 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 da. And I like, I, I didn't look, I didn't look, but I like knew that that's what he wanted. I'm like, I'm not giving him the satisfaction. So I keep walking um, and I can hear the da's fading. He's losing hope. He's like, da, 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 
da, da, da, eventually stopping and just silence. You know, and me feeling all high and mighty, like, hey, welcome to life, kid. And then two beats go by, and the dad pushing the stroller hops in. He's like, da, 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 da. That's him being at the, saying to his kid, like, hey, buddy, love the chorus, man. There's some great songs out there with Nas' as choruses, like Blink-182's, all the small things. You're doing Daws. Never even heard of anybody doing that. Keep it going, man. And the kid actually jumped back in. He was like, yeah, dad, you're right. He goes like high harmony, like da, 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 da. And as much as I was, uh, you know, ignoring both of them uh, or pretending to, uh, it was so beautiful to watch because, you know, so many, you know, you get ignored so much out there and uh, get shut down so many times. It's nice to know that you've got that you're, that you, that's why you need parents that are so supportive and are going to uh, 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 support you even even though your, your song sucks. Two more things before I go. Number one, Go Leafs Go, starting on Wednesday. And number two, uh, don't you hate it when you order a hamburger and it's just full of sunflower seeds? Come on,